Melissa. I'm with the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia. Today we're going to work together using Dixie Belle products to create a Mad Hatter whimsical look on a sweet little wooden rocking chair. To begin with, we're going to talk about proper preparation in order to chalk paint your piece. I recommend a product called White Lightning. It's made by Dixie Bell. This product, when diluted with water, I put mine in a spray bottle, is gonna help you really clean your piece and get it prepared for chalk paint. If your piece is not clean and you have oil and residue or old dirt left on your surface, your paint will not adhere. I just gave it a simple spray and a wipe of product and look at how much came off. It's really gross. It's very important to clean your product well um, before you paint in order to have the proper surface ready. If you don't spend that time doing this little prep work, you're gonna pay for it in the long run. Colors used Mermaid Tail, Cobalt Blue, Bunker Hill Blue, Plum Crazy, and Aubergine. Caviar and fluff for the stripes as well as moonshine metallics for accents. Assess your project and decide where you're going to put down your black and white stripes. Then you can lay down your fluff in two coats and prepare for painting. Make sure to keep a wet, damp brush. If you have a spray bottle, use a misting spray bottle filled with water to help move your paint around. Once you've laid down your initial colors, you can then take the time with separate brushes to blend them together into an ombre effect. Using painter's tape, lay out your stripes on top of the white fluff paint. I did this on the top part of the chair as well as the bottom on the rungs. Using black caviar, I applied it to the areas where the tape was not. This way you will have perfect stripes when you remove your tape. Using a small brush, I accented in Moonshine Metallics Gold Digger as well as a small area with the black caviar on the front. Once your paint has dried, remove your tape and touch up any edges. Using Mod Podge, I applied it to the area where I wanted the gold leaf to adhere. This was in the areas where the stripes would meet the color. Using a wax brush and besting wax and clear, I used this to seal the entire piece. And use gold gilding wax to accent any of the curved corners. If you would like to try your own Dixie Belle paint products, I'm including a link in the comments below as well as the intro.